Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here in Boulder Canyon. I am just going to take this trailer out over here and plonk it right in the middle of the yard, like that. I'm going to unhitch it and pull away from it over here. It's like I said, the first thing that I want to do is I want to get a new trailer. This one is... Not going to be big enough for everything that we want, and it's going to take up a lot of time trying to empty out the combine as well. So the shop is now coming to collect that trailer right there. We've had this trailer from right near the very beginning of the series. We've had it for a very long time, so it, it is kind of... Like, I'm a, I'm, I'm a little sad to see this trailer go. It has served us well. It is, it's been the sort of just the, the powerhouse, the... the the workhorse of the farm, um, as, well, at least as far as trailers are concerned, and it's it's really, really served us well. We, we've we've done a lot with this trailer. We have piled it up with loads of timber. We, we've used it over and over for all sorts of things, and now we are just ditching it and and getting rid of it uh, with, with, without a concern whatsoever. I am tempted to keep the trailer. I am tempted to just keep it and not get rid of it at all and get another one as well. Because we could, we could then run it in a road train configuration. That one could hop on behind the other trailer and we could keep it like that. However, I don't want to do that. I do actually want to sell this one. So 3,111. Now I have been told that if I was to repair it, I would get more for it. So if I go repair there, repair for $4, yes. I get $5 worth for selling it. Doesn't really... Like, it did actually put it up a tiny little bit extra, but it doesn't seem to make a huge amount of difference. I suppose maybe it would on the higher quantities. Um, but anyway, we want to hurry up and get move on, so let's get our new trailer. The, the trailer that we've had all this time is that bad boy right there. And... I was considering getting one of these or that one, you know, uh, either or. It's 32,400 litres and it's a nice long trailer as well. I use these in the Black Mountain time lapse and they're really, really awesome. They're, they're actually, it's, it's a nicely made mod. It looks really good. Um, or we've got that one at 21,000 litres. Now, that is a smaller trailer. And it does carry everything. It does everything that we would want it to do. But this one up here, it looks really, like, it, it does actually look pretty. I think we'll go with the green one. It does look really good. It's basically just extended out a little bit, isn't it? it it's just a bit longer. But honestly, it does, I, I really like this. I think it looks really cool. And we can color it as well. We, we've got some coloring options here. I definitely don't want white. Uh, we go for a dark green over there. We, we go for that dark. Actually, you know, I think I'm going to go with that. And then design color here is yellow. We go for red. No, I'll stick with yellow, but I kind of like the dark green. So, yeah, I think we'll go for this bigger trailer. Because our um, tractor will still be able to pull this one. That's 38,300. This is going to be a lot more useful for moving stuff around in the yard. For moving the animal feed and things like that. Uh, than just 21,000 litres. So the, the extra capacity, extra 10,000 in capacity, I think is definitely going to make a big difference. Now we've got white, colour, white and reflectors. Coloured and reflectors. Colour. Oh, I see. It's, it's that over there, look. I think. And the, the, the K agro liner right there. And then you've got the white bit over the top of it. We can't see the K ordinarily. I won't have the reflectors, but I think we will have the white on there. And it, we've got the Trailborg brand, uh, Lizard for standards, or we've got the Michelin wides as well. We'll go over the Trailborgs there. Okay, so $38,300 for that one. We ended up forking out about $35,000 in total. So I want to put that trailer on that trailer so that I can haul it back to the yard quickly. Because this one doesn't have a hitch on the back that would pull that trailer quickly. Which is a little bit unfortunate. Um, that being said, however, I think it would be faster if I was to just use this tractor to haul it right to the yard. So we'll have the... 
dealership deliver the trailer using a tractor this time rather than loading it up because otherwise I got to load it onto that trailer and I got to get that truck going honestly I don't know what would be faster like now I'm I'm already on my way like I, I would have to slowly try and load it up onto the trailer which would involve a lot of careful reversing and shunting and I'd probably be able to do it in a reasonable amount of time but then I'd have to bring the truck out and start that one on down the road and by which time I'm like, I'm well on my way now, right? At the moment, we would have gotten that truck hitched into the trailer, would have extended the bed of the trailer and uh, enough so that we could put this trailer onto that trailer, and then we would have uh, unhitched the truck and we would have driven it forward and we would have hopped into this tractor and hitched in the trailer. Okay? And we're already, you know, a quarter of the way there. Now we'd be shunting it backwards and forwards, trying to line it up and slowly, slowly get it back onto the truck and make sure that we've got it all lined up exactly, perfectly, just how we want it and so on and so forth. Uh, the only thing that's going to really slow us down is this hill, right? This hill here is definitely, definitely slowing us down. But the truck, I don't think we would have left yet. Even if my driving had been really, really on point, I don't think we'd have left yet. I think maybe we could say at this point I would have actually gotten it onto the trailer. So I'd, I would have parked up this tractor and I'd be jumping into the truck now in order to start getting the um, it hitched into the truck and possibly now leaving the yard. I am most of the way there. I, ha I, I do have the very, very steep bit of the hill to climb up now in order to deliver the new trailer right here. 8K we're doing. I should be in miles an hour for that. I do apologize. Let's go here. And we'll go there. And we'll go back here. And we'll go back here. And there we are. We're now in miles an hour and cruising along the top up here without any issues whatsoever and the truck wouldn't have even reached the bottom of the hill by this point so yeah we're, there's there's no contest we we definitely have done this faster doing it with a tractor delivery this time rather than going all the way round i'm not even going to take it all the way to the farm i don't need to i can leave this one at the bottom end of the field so that it is oops, Okay, I gotta be steady coming off of there. I do I do that. I get a little bit carried away just there, don't I? I've done that many times. I've actually launched stuff off of the trailer from the truck when we've been doing our deliveries. So I've got to pay a little bit more attention to what is going on over there. Now, what is our other tractor going to be like pulling this one? What is the Deutz going to be like pulling this one around the fields when it is full? I'm hoping he's gonna be alright. I'm hoping he's gonna be able to cope with it. But we'll we'll kind of we'll have to wait and see on that one. I'll bring you over here. Actually, I'm just going to go straight round to the combine with this one. I'm not going to. No, I can't do any work with this tractor because this tractor is not ours. So technically, I can't unload um, the combine with it just to like give a demonstration or anything like that. Uh, I suppose the dealership might do that. They, they might bring along and say, "Look, here we go." I've got it, and then just, like, park it under the combine, but um, I don't really want to do that either. I suppose I could just park it under the combine spout and leave it there. We'll do that. We will park it under the combine spout, and then we will leave it there. So I'll bring you up here like this. Park you under the combine spout just to show that it does work, and I will unhitch that one right there. The combine is starting away again, and he's now down to 76% in the tank. This tractor is going to move over to here. He's going to shut off, and then I'm going to go... There's the combine is working well, and I'm going to go to this one. The tractor is now going to return to the dealership. That one has gone. And we've got our new trailer has been delivered to the farm. So I will go and get that one now. And then we can unload this combine properly. And we don't need to worry about having to unload the combine every 30 seconds. And 
Um, well, not not that it's uh, unloaded. We don't need to worry about having to tip the trailer out every single time we unload the combine. We can unload the combine and then we can park the trailer in the field just for a little bit before we have to go and get another load from the combine. I think that is going to be altogether better for us. It, it's going to save us some time in the long run by... Like we see, it's going to save us a lot of time in the long run. And the tractor seems to pull it without too much issue as well. I'm not having any problems dragging this around the field. It may end up like being a little bit cumbersome at times in places. But I don't think it will. I think it's going to be all right. Now, we'll bring you down through here. Possibly going around this corner is going to be a bit difficult for us. But I'm not too concerned about that. I just want to get um, most of this grain into the trailer. And I don't even need to go around that corner. I can just leave the trailer here somewhere. Actually, I don't want to do that. I'll back up here. That one's been in tight around that corner. I'll follow the combine on round a little bit. And then we'll get it, get it to extend the spout out again. We've got... Quite a, it's, it's cutting quite tight on that corner there. I think it should be cutting in quite that tight on the corner. I'm going to need to wait until this one is running down that long straight again. There's just not going to be enough room to properly manoeuvre around here. Not with our big new trailer here that we've got. Huge great big beastie this is. But it's going to do the job. And it's going to do a wonderful... I, I'm liking this. I am actually really like... No, I, you, might, you might as well put that back mate. I can't do anything with it at the moment. Combine all back up there, and then it will just do it a little bit across the end, and then it will go to turn, and it will back up again, and it'll do another little bit across the end. Go up there. Now what's it going to do? Yeah, it, it is going to back up and turn again. Back up there like that. Round you go. And we can go and unload coming down across here like this. Right, now you've recognised that there is a trailer right here. I'll bring you up like that. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to get a picture of this one actually running down the field and unloading into our new trailer. That looks pretty good. Unless I get something better, you probably will have already seen this. As I find something better somewhere. And that is the combine now empty. So I will just bring that treasure. I'm just going to leave it right there like that. Uh, I'm going to turn that one off and I'm going to take a hop, skip and a jump up over to here and we need to carry on with this job because otherwise this job is going to get away from us. We need to keep going all the way around the edge of the field. So I've done twice around the field. I will have done twice around the field. I'm hoping that's going to be enough and I can then leave the hired help going and work the entire rest of the field with just the hired help. I'm hoping. I'd also like to go and get the hay turner and get that one working in the field as well. So once we've done our twice round, we can set this bit going with the hired help. Set the mowers going with the hired help. And then we need to go and get our small tractor, get the hay turner on that one. And we can start sort of working along the very lower edges of the field and doing some stuff with it down there. Right, so I will lift both of these mowers up like that. Bring it back round over to here, and in we go again. It's nice having a big field of grass to cut. We haven't had a big field of grass to cut for this entire series, really. Well, I suppose technically we did cut a little bit down on the bottom field, didn't we? Um, not very much, though. Now that we like this, this we haven't had this kind of acreage of grass to cut, and it is nice. It's one of my favourite jobs in the game is doing grass-related activities. I like mowing. Um, in particular, I like doing the haymaking. I've, I've always actually enjoyed doing the haymaking, um, you know, all, all, all the process, the, the turning, the raking, baling, all of it, getting the whole lot all done. It's, it's something quite satisfying about the whole process that I do enjoy. I and mean, don't get me wrong, I like doing the um, silage bit as well. It's just that I find the haymaking to be just that little bit better. And I, I do enjoy doing any harvest work. Uh, well, at least harvest work with combines. The, the root crop harvests, not quite so keen on those. I mean, I, I like them, but not quite so keen on those as I am with um, doing this bit. Um, 
The combine work is is always quite entertaining, but no, it's it, it's the grass work that I enjoy the most. This, this is definitely my favourite aspect of the game. Now, I'd like to try and keep this reasonably straight running along the bottom here so that I can uh, just set the hired help going on the short runs down the bottom, on that little dog leg bit with the, the short runs, and then I'm hoping that it will just kind of carry on right the way across all of the fields. I don't think it will. It, it I, I, I've got a feeling it's probably not going to be able to extend right the way across all of it, but maybe. Maybe there is, there is a small chance that we will be able to do all the way across. We'll have to, we'll have to wait and see. If I, I'll tell you what, if I bring that over to there like that, and we can manually chop out this deg, uh, deg log. We can manually chop out the dog leg or the deg log, whichever one you want to cut out. It doesn't really matter, I don't suppose. And lift that one up there, then bring you round like this. And I will drop that one down into there and we'll start cutting up the hill a little bit like this. I'm not going to do very much on this one, only to about there. Go on up a little bit with the back mower like that. Yeah, just, just to tidy it up a bit. And then I'll come in and do the same again. Do another little pass on here. Bring you down like that. Combine's at 48% at the moment. I do need to keep a bit of an eye on what's going on with that combine. Because once that's done, we've got to plough that field. And now we don't have a whole load of timber to be cutting as like an extra job to do while we're sat around waiting and bored. Uh, when we're doing things like ploughing, it, it, it's going to be like taking up most of our time. I mean, yeah, we will have the animals that we can go and buy. But as soon as that harvest is done, I'd like to get a plough working in the field. I'm hoping, I think that the plow can be pulled by the little Deutsch tractor. I think it does have the capability to do that. I'm pretty sure we did already do a little bit of plowing with the Deutsch tractor. So we've we've got that in our favour sort of as a something that we can do with it. Now if I bring you over this way not entirely sure which is the exact angle that we're going to be working at. If I press H on here. Helper I has completed their task. No you haven't completed anything at all. See, I'm pointing you directly. Oh, that's why. It's because of the angle that he needs to go. He's going all the way over to there. Right. That's the angle the hired help is going to be working at. So we come over here. I then want to turn you round. Like this. And I want to get... Basically, I want to get that lined up as, as well as I can. But I don't want to be going up the hill very much. So I want to bring you down like that. There. And press H here. So I'm hoping what it's going to do. It's going to go into that bit there. And then it's going to go forward a bit. And it's going to do mowing. I, I really wish it wouldn't do this pick up and drop down nonsense that it does. It is slightly ridiculous the way that it does that. But it's now out and into the field and, and going along. It's rocking its thing. And are you going... To, it's not going to stay the same width on this machine all the way across. It's going to end up leaving a strip of grass. So what I will do is I will move the tractor down the hill a little tiny bit just to grab that extra bit. And then it will do a part run. So I'll stop here. And I'll bring you back down here like this. So it's it's going to do a part run on it. I'll bring you to about there, I think. If I run you right from there, that should be perfect. You go there with the front mower. And then he'll bring it on up a little bit higher. And then he will drop the back mower down right there. And then he should go right the way through. He'll turn round and he'll go all the way back right down to the other end of the field without any problems whatsoever. I want to very quickly skip over to this tractor here. We've got 85% in the combine. And this is only filled to 27% on here. It's doing very nicely. And that mower over there is now almost filled to complete capacity across the mower. I need to run down here. So we, we can watch that one turn round. That one can just make its turn on the edge of the field there without any issues. 
Looks like he's going to do all right. We'll get this one emptied out, and then we can go back and check on the uh, tractor and mower. Once that's done a couple of passes along the bottom edge of the field, we'll be able to get our small tractor going with the hay turner and start turning the hay so that we can sort of keep up with the mower as well as we can. And then we'll be able to get the hay uh, that's, that's being made. And then uh, once the mowers are finished, we'll... not quite sure what we're going to do then because we're going to want to be doing the raking as well. We'll probably be able to get one of the... the maybe get this tractor on the rake. I don't know. It, it might end up being that we don't get this tractor on the rake at all. It might be that we put the big tractor on the rake. We've got the small tractor up there that we're going to put onto the hay turner. And we'll put the other one onto the rake. Right, we'll bring you back over there like that. I don't need to go any further with that one. And then I can skip over to here and take a look at this. So the front mower is now lifted up into the air. I think it's going to stay lifted up into the air just because of the angle that we move. Although that's now moving at a different... Oh, no, that's just where I came along, I think, and drove... No, I didn't. I didn't drive along there. It's looking like it's sort of drifting sideways a little bit with the mowing because of the angle of the field. That's what's doing it. Like the angle of the field there does make that look a little bit weird. And it also means that we'll probably end up missing a small strip of grass. We have done that previously. That's fine. We can, we can miss a small strip of grass. I don't think that's going to be any issue at all. We'll let this one do twice... Uh, two more passes. It'll go once up across the field here now and then come back again and then we can go and get that hay turner and start doing a little bit of work with that one. I just want to, like, we, it, let's, let's watch and admire this. Bring you in here. I mean, that, that it, it, I always think it looks really cool being able to watch it from the front because this is an angle that you never, ever get to see normally. Not, certainly not in real life. You don't get to see this angle when you're in real life. And it, it does look very, very awesome being able to watch it like that. You know, your real life view is, is more similar to that. Yeah? And, yeah, you, you're not actually in the cab, admittedly. Um, right, well, this isn't in the cab. So you wouldn't be seeing it right from the back. But still, your real life view is, is a lot more like this than it is from this angle. And that's kind of like, that's, that's kind of why I think I like watching it from the front, because I get to see something that I've not seen previously, like being able to watch it from this side. And I always think it looks really cool. I I, re I, I do. I, I really think that it looks quite cool being able to watch it from this angle. And I said one more pass. Kind of thinking I could just let it go now. We, we just go and get the thing now. We'll watch it a little bit longer. We'll, we'll, we'll watch just a little bit longer. Down we go. That one's going to go in. And then the back mower is going to drop. And away you go. Who here, the farmers among you, have actually used a front-mounted mower? I've used one of these. The side-mounted mower, like this. I've used one of those. Quite. I've done a lot of mowing with those. I've done a little bit with a trailed mower as well. But I've never used a setup with a front-mounted mower. I've Not once. I've seen them being used... But I've never personally used one. I've only ever used the single mower on the back um, for doing all the mowing that I've done. I have done quite a lot of mowing. Um, just never one on the front. So who here, the farmers among you, are like me and you've never actually used a front-mounted mower. You've only ever used the back ones, whether it's a trailed or a, a side-mounted one like this. Um... Who's only ever used one of them and hasn't used the front mounted? I mean, it, it, tell me either way. Have, have you only ever used the front mounted ones, or have, uh, have you only have you used both, or have you only ever used the the rear mounted the, the ones out to the side, um, or trailed ones? I'd really like to hear. So get into the comment section and let me know. Anybody that's ever done it. I mean, if you haven't had anything to do with farming, um, which do you think sort of? Which do you see most frequently in the areas near you? Do you see... Because I, I have noticed that even the farming simulator players that live right in the middle of towns, they tend to notice the machinery in the countryside a lot more than non-farming simulator players. So which ones do you see most frequently in the areas around you? Do you see the front-mounted stuff or do you generally only see those? Because where I am, I see trailed ones driving around. 
mostly I only see the rear mounted ones, just the, the one mower on the side. I occasionally will see a front mounted, but not very often. Right, that's doing just fine over there. So now we want to go to our silent electric tractor over here, the IMT. We'll bring you back over there. IMT is uh, Industry Machine Tractor. I industry Machinery Tractors. That's what it is. Industry Machinery Tractors. Okay, we'll bring you out like that. And... From what I've been told from uh, and from reading that I've done, the IMT, it whilst it does look almost identical to the Massey 35, there are some very subtle differences to it that um, were introduced with the IMT to fit the Eastern European market that it was targeted at. So it was made under license from Massey Ferguson. They basically, they've taken the Massey 35, but there are some subtle differences in the way that they made their beastie compared to the actual Massey 35. Uh, so there we go. We've got a slight little history lesson for you there. So if you do ever buy an IMT and you buy a Massey 35, as far as I know, there are ever so slight differences between the two. Now, there may not be. It, like, it, it, it may not actually be that much in the way of differences at all. This is running very... So I would expect this one to run painfully slow going up the hill. It's also... We're running a little bit close to the grass on the side. So I'm spreading this out onto the side. <laughs> when I said I was expecting it to run painfully slow, I wasn't quite expecting that painfully slow. So I will turn that one off and we will creep up the hill here. And it is going to struggle to get up the hill a little bit. This is a very, very steep hill and it's an old tractor. Now, in real life, it would do better than this. I, it would actually be able to do a better job than this of getting up the steep hill. But this isn't real life. This is Farming Simulator. So it's going to be slightly more difficult for it to do things than it would be in real life. I will bring you round up here. We shouldn't have too much trouble getting down the hill. That much I can tell you for certain. Right, we'll bring you back up over there like that, and I will start you right there, and then we will go whizzing on down the hill. Look at that, we've got 11 miles an hour. It is over-revving like crazy as it comes down that hill. The biggest problem that we're going to have is it is going to struggle to slow down rather than uh, struggle to speed up. That is, it, it's a serious concern. Right, we'll bring you down to there like that. And then I'm going to shut it off just while I bring it back up here so that I don't scatter grass absolutely everywhere. And then we can start heading around this way like this. I've got 90% in the combine, so I want to get that one emptied out very very soon i'm gonna do that in a minute we'll do that just as like our last thing that we do in the episode i just want to bring this one up here um go on a little bit further you can do this bit surely this this there's not even much of a hit well actually i suppose there is just on that little bit there 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 is a little bit of a hill for it to struggle up um he ought to be all right doing that i don't think there should be too much of an issue for him to do that bit Bring you around over there. There we go. Go on. You, you can do this. I've got faith in you, little beastie. I've got faith. There we go. Now you're talking. You can head in across the field like that without any problems whatsoever. Helper G has now got a full grain tank. And th the grass is scattering down the hill a little bit, which I don't like. The dried hay here is going to be scattering down the hill. It means that we may struggle to gather all of it up with the rake when we come through with the rake. We'll just have to be very careful with that and do our absolute bestest to make sure that we do indeed get everything with the rake. I think we'll probably be all right. I don't think it's going to be too much of an issue. I'm going to take you right out to the end over here like this because I want to do a little bit of stuff over on the end. Uh, there's a couple of little patches of grass that have been missed there by the mower. 
There is, on this end of the field, there are a couple of little patches, a couple of little bits that we constantly miss, isn't there? Right, they, they always seem to be missed. Right, I'll pick you, I'll, I'll do that there. I'm just going to bring you back. We will end up sort of doing this coming down the hill around the going up. So you can stop there. I will jump over to this one and we will start heading. Okay, we've actually done further than I thought we'd do. We'll start working the land work, I think, with the combine now. We'll let it run along the top. And then in our next episode, we can start working the land work down the other side. But anyway, I have run out of time for today's episode. We will continue on next week with our harvest, with our haymaking up over there. And then hopefully we will get to the point where we're going to be starting to buy in some cows as well. So if you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.